All right, so I'm going to be showing how to open up and disassemble this Dell XPS 13 9343. So this is a 9000 series, I suppose. Anyways, we're going to use a T5 or Torx 5 screwdriver to remove all the screws from the bottom. All right, you want to keep them in order because they can be different size, shape, and lengths. The way I do that is I put them flat side down like this on my desk in the pattern I remove them. So we have this U shape. All right, if this video helps you out, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade or repair their devices as well. If it helps you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. All right, so let's go ahead and continue removing all these screws. Okay, there are eight screws here around the edge. I believe there are some screws hidden under here as well, so we'll check that as well. We'll get two to go. One and two. All right, there we go. Then we'll open this up. And you can see there is one under there. We're gonna need a JIS zero or PH zero screwdriver to remove that. Okay, so let's go ahead and get that and remove this screw. Okay, now that we got all the screws out, we can go ahead and remove the bottom cover. So to remove the bottom cover, what I like to do is I'll open it up like this. I might have to use a tool, but we'll see. Um, usually I'll get my fingernails in the little gap here between the black part of the palm rest and the cover, and then I'll push with my thumb on the back. Let's see if we can actually get this open. The gap might be too small, so we might have to use a very thin metal pry tool. Yeah, let's see. Let's try going from this side from the back. We can sometimes also use um, a suction cup and that might work. Okay, so I'm using my fingernails in there and I'm pulling and pushing with my palm. And you can see a small gap has formed there. So we're gonna have to kind of continue going. So let's go ahead and push that. And then we're gonna go to the side here. Okay, oops, I snapped it back closed. All right, so we're gonna push again pulling with our fingernails and pushing with our thumbs. So basically we're rotating it like that. And we'll go around, okay. All right, let's continue going around this side, just like this, continue going around. Okay, again, you can use plastic pry tools if you want, um, especially if you don't have fingernails, then I mean, probably your fingernails will grow if you don't have pry tools by the time you get your pry tools. Anyways, there we go. So we kind of pried all around the sides and the front. You can see it's popping up now, okay? So then we got here, I'm gonna hold this down here and just grip this and I'm gonna kind of wiggle this and you can see it popped out. And there we go, we got the bottom cover off. The customer here just wants to retrieve their data. So we're gonna pull the SSD out. Um, I don't see any sign of upgradable RAM or anything here, okay? Um, so there's not really much to look at here. Um, we are going to remove the SSD. This is a two and a half, in, or sorry, not two, I'm so used to saying that. It's an M.2 uh, SATA, all right? This isn't a PCIe NVMe. I'm not sure if this motherboard supports PCIe NVMe SSDs, but this is the M.2 SATA SSD. You can see it has two notches here, and also it says the serial ATA. Okay, we're going to set that aside. I don't know what they did or if someone opened this before, but it looks like some grease or something leaked out from here and you can see it's discolored the sticker. Um, I'm just gonna do a quick look of what's inside for you guys. There's the wireless card here, one screw, this metal plate comes off and then you can pull up from the tails to pop out the antenna wires. There's the white one there and the black one there. The uh, wireless card comes out by going up at an angle and pulling it out just like I removed the uh, SSD. There's this cable going into the screen as well as this one here so these two probably for like microphones and cameras and stuff all right you got the dc jack charge port connector i think it's underneath this tape here let me see if i can get this up okay normally i don't kind of like peel all this stuff up but this one's completely dead the customer got a new computer and they said they're basically getting rid of this but here you can see charge port is connected here there's one screw holding it there um, but they do wrap it underneath the motherboard. So keep that in mind when you go to replace the charge port You are gonna have to at least take a bunch of the motherboard screws out to get to remove the charge port and put a new one in Usually what I do is I just remove a bunch of the screws from like over here And then I can lift it just enough to slide the cable out without pulling the whole motherboard out um, And when you put the new one you kind of have to coil it the same way to get that 
the same thing. There's the CMOS BIOS RTC real-time clock battery here, connects right there. You got the speaker connection here, the blue and white wires go there, the black and red wires go to the other speaker here. Battery connector is here, it just pulls out from the socket like straight back, so you do have to remove all the screws for the battery and then you can pull it back. Um, you got this battery indicator light cable going up somewhere. I'm not too sure where because I'm not going to pull the whole thing out. Um, you got this cable connecting over here to this cable for the SD card slot, USB ports, and whatever else is here. There's this one cable here, and then this going to the um, LCD LVDS connector there. So I guess this both goes up into there. Wow, why does this have so many cables going up into the screen? That's interesting. Okay, I don't know why this one has so many cables. I don't know if it's touchscreen or what as well. All right, you got a small cable here and another cable here. Um, this one says JKB1, so I'm guessing that's for the keyboard. And then T... Oh? Oh, touchpad underneath. It says touchpad, I think. So touchpad, keyboard... And I think that's pretty much all there is to it. This one has two screws. It pops out. You can pull the um, LCD LVDS connector. Just pull it straight up. But before you do that, make sure that you disconnect the battery and then open the laptop and press and hold the power button for at least 15 seconds to drain any residual power to prevent shorting out or frying anything on the motherboard. CPU is soldered to the motherboard. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to put this screw back in and we're going to pop this thing back together. Um, well, temporarily. I will come back to put the SSD back in, but for now we're just going to leave it like this, okay? And yeah, I'll see you guys when I'm done backing up the data. Um, yeah, it'll be like an instant for you guys. All right, I'll see you guys then. Bye. All right, so we're back. Let's go ahead and put this thing back together. So we'll take this cover back off, of course. Um, get the screw back out. Okay, we'll put this back in at an angle, just like that. Push it down, get the screw back in. Okay, make sure that the SSD is slotted in place. It has a raised metal piece um, so that it doesn't slide up or down. Okay, and that's how you know it's in place. Good, then we'll put this bottom cover back on, pretty straightforward. Just line it all up, click it back down. There we go, and then, oops, I probably should have taken a thumbnail. So let's go ahead and pop this back open because I don't think I got a good thumbnail for anything yet. Okay, pop that out and wiggle this, and there we go. All right, let me make sure I get a good thumbnail here. Keep it all lined up. Okay, I think that's about centered. Use that as a thumbnail. There we go. Let's go ahead now and pop this back on. There we go. Okay, and let's go ahead and get all these screws back in. Again, we have the JIS 1 or 0 screw first in the middle here. Okay, and then we got the T5 or Torx 5 screws. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, again, please make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. And if it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and it allows me to continue making these videos for a living. And yeah, other than that, that's all there is to it. You're welcome to stay as I get all these screws back in. But yeah, we're finished with this one. All right. Last two screws. This one. Alright, and that's it. Thanks for watching. See you all in the next one. Let's drop this spike.